Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my haul for the month of February. If you have been on this channel before, last month I did things a little differently. I did both my haul and my wrap up in my TBR takedown video, but this month I just read too much and hauled too much to put everything in that video. I feel like it would be like a 30 minute video. So I wanted to break it down and I'll do a TBR takedown like stats type video. It's new so I'm kind of learning what's working best for me and for you, for your viewing pleasure. Let's get started. We are going to start with new releases for the month. The first book that I got this month is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is a somewhat follow-up to 2017's The Hate You Give. It's set in the same city but follows different characters. If you saw my unboxing where I unboxed this and a bunch of other things that I got while I was on vacation, you will know that I am cringing holding this cover. It is textured and it is so displeasing. I... <sighs> I can't handle it. Anyway, this book follows Brie, who is an aspiring rapper, and basically she releases this song, and it kind of doesn't go the way that she expects it to go. She expects it to be this big hit, and it kind of goes in another direction. Um, and the book's just really about Brie finding out who she really is and who she wants to be. I have already read this, so if you are interested in seeing my full thoughts, that will be in the wrap-up for this month. The second new release that I got this month is Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the third book in the Witchland series. It is book three. There are four books out in the series so far. There is a point five called Sight Witch. If you are reading this series, I definitely recommend that you read it because it makes everything so much better. This series is about two best friends, Safi and Iz, who are basically on the run from the entire government because Safi has this power that everyone either wants to hold for themselves or kill Safi so that they no one else can hold her power and use it against them. That made sense. This series has a lot of adventure, a lot of found family aspects. It's just a really, really good story. The way Suze writes, she just weaves in all of these different things that make it so insane. The more you read the series, the more rereads you do the better that it gets. And because we're here and because I'm all about full disclosure, I've actually bought three copies of Blood Witch this month. One of these is from my Hangover Recovery Kit, which didn't get here early enough for me, so I went and purchased a copy from my local bookstore, which they had to order in for me, but it still got here sooner than my Hangover Recovery Kit. And this one in the middle that looks different is my UK cover edition, because I am collecting those as well, so. Plus I bought it on ebook, plus I bought three copies that I gave away to viewers, so I've bought seven copies of this book, but I'm only gonna hold three on my shelves. It, it's fine. It's fine. Next is my book of the month pick and I picked The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. This book is about a girl by the name of Sylvie who when she's 16 her sister Persephone goes sneaks out on a date that she's not supposed to go on to and she never returns home. They find her body a week later. They never solve her murder. This book takes place I think it's like 16 years later when Sylvie's an adult and she returns home to take care of their mother who has failing health. And the mother in her hospital, or I don't know exactly where she is, but she has a nurse that's taking care of her, and this nurse is Persephone's boyfriend that Sylvie has always thought was actually the person who killed Persephone. So this book just follows like that aspect of it, the mystery part of who actually killed her sister, and it also discusses some mental health issues because their mother has some mental health issues. Um, so I'm really interested in getting to this. I don't always pick a book from Book of the Month because there's not always something on there that seems really interesting to me, but this looks really good, so I picked this up. And the last three are all from series that I already own. They are Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. This is a bind up of a bunch of novellas that are in the Lunar Chronicles series. From what I understand, it has nine short stories in it. Eight of them take place either prior to or during the Lunar Chronicles, and there's one that's like an epilogue that takes place after the finale of Winter. And then I have the Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. This is essentially just like a reference type book about um, different things in the Shadowhunter world. It has some pictures and some drawings. Um, things like that. This has been on my wish list for a long time, but I honestly just broke down and bought it at like two in the morning while I was on vacation because I have no life. I mainly bought it because of its cover. Yeah, I have problems. 
it's fine. And the last two are part of the witch graphic novel series. I have started reading this series. This is kind of a weird one. It has parts and like each part has three volumes but they number them on the sides. This is five and six but it's volumes two and three of part two. I don't know. It's kind of weird but I didn't realize that it did that. That each one was like an individual like each three were part of a separate story. Um, so I just bought the first four when I was buying them originally but I can't read I just feel like I can't read that fourth book without five and six because it's all the same part, if you get what I'm saying. So those are the nine, but I'm going to call it seven books that I bought in the month of February. I've already read two of them, so not too bad, but for a girl who's supposed to be getting her TBR down to 113 books by the end of the year, not great either. If you've read any of these books and you have any thoughts about them, let me know in the comments below because I would love to talk about them with you, especially the two that I've read on The Come Up and Blood Witch. I really liked both of them. I will link my full review on Goodreads down below as well, but you can also check out my wrap-up when it's up so that you can see my thoughts there if you prefer to watch a video instead of read a review. I do plan to have a full review for Blood Witch up on my channel sometime in March. I'm gonna re read it again and make some take some notes this time rather than just like read it to get to the end to find out what happens. There will be that in the future as well. It is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!